Hi, spooky friends. Let's take a look at what goes into packing our Enables Outpost mystery boxes. And maybe just a little, a little bit of behind the scenes action for you, for your eyeballs, so that you see um, what goes behind packing these, let alone putting other things together. So let me turn y'all around and let's pack the first one together. The first thing I decided to do is uh, fold some of the boxes. So see, I have a few of them stacked up here. Then the next thing I did is put in our paper shreds. And I got a little bit more fun one this year that's shiny black. And then there's matte black, matte orange. And, uh, well, where'd it go? Oh, no. Where'd they go? Well, you can see them down in, in there. A little, a few little pumpkin guys hiding in the, hiding in the, the shreds here. But, you know, just a little something fun. And then let's see. What's going in this one this year? Well, first, let me share with you the pen. Yes, here we have this beautiful blank that was poured to our request by Cocoon. So y'all make sure that you go hop over and visit Cocoon on, uh, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram. They have a website. Um, yeah, this is one of their liquid series pens and they put in the colors that I requested. So we've got a pen. And then we have here Putty. From This is Putty Crocker, but y'all may know her as April. She has a Facebook group, and she's absolutely wonderful and so much fun. And this is a mystery scent, or flavor, if you call it flavor. Um, so, a mystery within a mystery. Awesome. So, we got some putty. Then, I talked to our friend t -Maw. And, of course, she wanted to bring you guys some bling and partner up with us in this Halloween box. And, let me see, I see some orange squares there. I see some bright neon green rounds there. There's a few different types in here. I don't know if it's three or four baggies of drills. Oh, I see one there. Is that a purple or a blue? Ooh, I'm not going to show you. But then we got T-Mall's sticker and her business card and everything. So we're going to add that into the box. Let's see. Next, we have something that is a first for our boxes. For, it comes to us from Bella Art Day Nicole, which is, they are, they are rebranded, I think, uh, fully now, uh, Bella Art Diamonds. They purchased uh, Mary's Diamonds and are rebranding. Um, so they're, they are on... Uh, what was what we have? Uh, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Oh, y'all can scan that if you wanna. But this is their essential tray. But it's it's got something fun. Look, you see? Do you see? Oh, it's it's not focusing. Come on, focus, camera. Come on. There. Look, you guys. Look, it's got Enablers Outpost on the tray. And look, it's on the other side too. Cool. So no matter which way you hold it, you'll be able to see our name. And just this really nice little essential tray. We've got the Bella uh, Bella Art Diamonds logo on the back there. Um, you know, and there are a few different um, colors that will be going in the boxes. But this is just such a fun little, fun little tray. Okay, we put put that baby in the in the box, and let's see what else have we got next. Let's talk about Crafts with Crashly. Yes, Ash, Crashly or Ashley and Kerwin, they are amazing people. Edward and I love them. We got to, or he got to meet them at the retreat. I got to meet them last year, um, but they're super great. Um, I think they have a website now that you can. Um, check out but this is some of their release papers that they made just for us for our halloween box enabler spooky time i love it so we're going to get some spooky release papers going in there and then let's see what's next okay how about some cover minders how about these cool little things we've got a skull we've got a little pumpkin we've got a ghosty and that ghosty actually glows in the dark so that's kind of cool and I put it on this thing. Um, it's actually a sticker. 
it says, let's be spooky together. But there are all different kinds of Halloween stickers that the cover minders are on. But just know that these are stickers. You can see right there, there's the little perforation line. So don't throw it away. Th throw your spooky stickers on something. So let's put these minders in the box. And what do we have next? Next is something new that we're trying to see. Uh... It's a little little spoopy scratch art kit. And now, I did not buy this. I bought the materials, and I put it together myself. Um, and there's a couple of little 3x3-inch little three three squares in there of the scratch art paper and the little scratch art stick on the back here. And this white stuff in here is actually white cardstock. So, if someone so chooses, they can mount their finished scratch art piece onto this cardstock and the cardstock is perfect size for a frame i don't know if there's smaller frames available but there may be so you can you know go do without the the back um or the the mount paper or whatever but you know just just in case little little something something there and you can even color and draw and design on the white paper there um, so I thought that was kind of a fun little cool idea. So that's from us. I put that together to go in the box. So, wow. Okay. Now let's just get to all the candies and the goodie. Y'all know how I like to do. Y'all know and have seen all the candy that I like to get. So this year I got a, a couple different things, a couple of similar things. So let's see. Let's, let's throw in some Sour Patch Kid packs. How about that? That's always good. And um, we need sugar, so let's just let's just throw in some pixie sticks. We need pixie sticks because pure sugar, hello. Um, then how about how about some crybaby gum? This is supposed to be sour gum. So let's throw in the crybabies. And what else? Uh, how about um, a Tootsie Pop? Now, I bought these because the they were advertised as giant Tootsie Pops. This looks like the regular size to me, but I don't know. They called it Giant, and that's why I bought it. But, oh, well, who doesn't love a Tootsie Pop? Tootsie Pops are great. Um, then, let's see. Let's put in a couple of Zots. This is that fizzing candy that's really fun. Uh, let's throw in a couple of those. And what else? Uh, we, let, I mean, Airheads. Come on. Come on. Airheads are like, you gotta have Airheads, right? Um, then, I have found these guys which is cool a little bit of a duplicate but a little bit different sour patch kids but they're big see they're bigger than the regular the small packs so so let's let's throw in there now you see oh my gosh why so much candy well because you know if i haven't if what i bought has enough for everybody to get four of something i'm gonna give everybody four of something if what i have is only enough for two of something everybody's gonna get two of something i'm, I'm gonna spoil everybody as much as possible and i and i, and I hope y'all love it because i do i'm not gonna stop i can't stop won't stop uh and then the last thing i found is this little kind of a it's just a candy stick i bought it off of amazon but it came actually from oriental training I have no idea what the flavor is, so I hope that somebody that gets one of these boxes uh, will let me know what the flavor is, because I'm really curious. So, we're going to put that in there. So, uh, I do have one more little thing that I forgot to bring over here, so hold on one moment and let me go get it. Okay, the last little thing, uh, one of these little cute little little sticker activity sheets. I don't know if, I mean, if, if an adult wants to do it or give it to one of their kiddos, you know, but it's cute and it's fun. So, let me see. Oh, whoop. Okay, it doesn't fit in the box, so what I'm going to have to do is put this on top of this box inside the shipping box. Okay. Didn't realize that wasn't going to fit, but what will fit on the top here is a couple little spook, spoopy stickers. It's not Halloween without some spoopy stickers. We got one holograph. Isn't that cool? And then one that'll be a matte sticker. The designs will vary. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the gist of things, guys. So, this is what goes into putting together our mystery boxes. We love to spoil you. We love to partner with small shops. And my dogs love to bark at all the noises. So, my apologies. Hold on one moment. I just holler at them from the other room and then they'll stop. Let me turn y'all around and let, let's close this out. Okay, so that's what we have for our Halloween 2023 mystery box. Um, a 
big thank you to all of my small shops that partnered with me again. Um, I tell you what, we're working on our winter box now and it's going to be so good. There, I've got 17, 17 small shops confirmed to partner with that one and it's epic guys. It's epic. All right. So, uh, let me know what you think about the the Halloween mystery boxes. I mean, do you, do you love the idea? Do you hate the idea? Well, if you hate it, don't tell me. I don't need to know that. But anyway, we love it. We're going to keep doing them. It's so much fun. And, uh, all right. Thanks for watching. And, um, uh, I guess we'll see y'all soon, okay? Bye.